Hi, this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils Health Matters and Living the Wholesome Life. And we are on week 51, day 3, of our positive, peaceful affirmations that we are doing <coughs> every day, Monday through Friday. We are following Dr. Susan Lawton's book, Positive, Peaceful Growth Calendar, that you could buy at Aroma Tools or Oil Life. If you love positive affirmations or you love music therapy, if you love essential oils and aromatherapy, I think you're really going to appreciate this book. It is simple in its format but profound in the changes it can help us make in our lives. The affirmation for the entire week is everything I think is positive. And I expect miracles often. Now, I know that probably everything that we think isn't positive. But when we say to ourselves, everything I think is positive, it's, um, our brain starts recognizing when we are saying things to ourselves that aren't. And our brain starts realizing when people are saying things to themselves or to us or to other people that aren't. When we say everything I say to myself is positive, it lets us see where we're getting off track, which I love. I love because we all want to take the more positive things we say to ourselves and the more positive things we say to others, um, the more we can, we can better become the people that we want to be. Okay, the affirmation for the, oh, and then expecting miracles often. Our God is a God of miracles. And he is just, he is every much, he is alive every much as he ever was. Um, he doesn't change. And so he did miracles, mighty miracles in the past, right? And he can perform mighty miracles in our lives too as we pray for them, as we turn to him, as we try to obey his commandments. The affirmation for today is, I am peaceful with new good things happening. I love that. When I love I am peaceful. I just want to do like the, I don't know, some yoga pose, right? So just, just feeling the peace. Feeling the profound peace that life can bring. We can be peaceful. I love I am peaceful. I love that. Because as we say I am peaceful, again, we're like, we our brain starts recognizing when am I not feeling at peace? What's going on? What what do I need to change? What what's happening where I don't feel at peace? Um and then, and then it helps us to be more peacemaking. How can we do certain things in a peaceful way? So I love that. I am peaceful. But it actually says, I am peaceful with new good things happening. Now, I love that new. Because I think that um, a lot of people feel very comfortable and very at home and very happy with the old. The old ways of doing things, the ways that things have always been. And when things change to new, we can get anxious, afraid, upset, and and have a hard time sometimes transitioning from the old to the new. So I love that this says, I am peaceful with new good things happening. As we open our eyes, we can see the blessings of new things happening. We can see the opportunities. We can see the good things that happen with new. I love that. New. So the, again, the affirmation for today, I am peaceful with new good things happening. Okay. The song for the entire week is Pachelbel's Canon in D. Now we started with the the first recording ever which was by Arthur Fiddler. I think it was with the Boston Pops. I'm not 100% sure in the orchestra. I know he was a conductor 
for the Boston Pops, but he was the one who made the first modern that I know of, um, Wikipedia. Anyway, with, um, so he made the first modern recording of Pachelbel's Canon in D. And then we have this beautiful, slower, more relaxing, um, more relaxing version. And then today in the comments, I am going to put George Winston's version of Pachelbel's Canon variations on a theme by, pa I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's George Winston's Pachelbel's Canon in D from his album December. It was a hit that sold millions of records. I know it was popular when I was in college in the 90s. Okay, the, so yes, please, if you have your favorite version of Pachelbel, put it in the comments or explore different versions of your favorite songs. If we have a song that we like, it's fun to see who else is saying this and, and which version do I really like the most. Okay. Then the diffuser blend that we're diffusing for the whole entire week is two drops of ginger, which is a very empowering oil. It helps us move from victim mentality to feeling powerful, taking our power back. And then we have two drops of bergamot, which is the oil of self-love, self-acceptance. And then we have black pepper. Now today, we're gonna be talking about the emotional and physical blessings aspects of black pepper essential oil. So here we go. Okay, black pepper essential oil is the oil of authenticity or the oil of unmasking. It's We all know that black pepper has been used for millennia to help flavor our food. It's warming, penetrating, and strengthening is distilled from the berries of a vine that grow in India, Indonesia, and Brazil. The Indians and Chinese to use black pepper to stimulate the healing process. The Greeks use black pepper for fevers and to fortify, help fortify the stomach. The Indian people ingested black pepper to give them stamina for walking long distances. Black pepper has a spicy, warmy, warm, warmy. It has a spicy, warm, peppery, and musky aroma. So you have this beautiful um, ginger, and then the um, the the empowering of the ginger, and then the the um, self love of the bergamot, and then you have this this um, beautiful warming. Oil, and we're gonna find out more why it, we use it both physically and emotionally in just a minute. But the 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 diffuser blend is beautiful for fall. It's a beautiful um, blend for fall. So here are the physical properties. Black pepper is high in beta caryophylline, and it's high in sesquiterpenes. Go ahead. Do a Google. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil your surprise on that. Do your Google search on what beta caryophylline. It's C A R E. I don't know if I spelled this even right. C A R E E E O F F O L I N E. Anyway, and what what do sesquiterpenes do? I don't want to spoil that one for you either. So it's high in sesquiterpenes. S e s q u i t e r p e n e s. Okay, so high in circuit sesquiterpenes, high in beta caryophylline. Go to your internet, to your search. You're gonna love what you find on oils that are rich in those two things. So just to let you know, black pepper has more sesquiterpenes than frankincense does, and it's beautiful to be used for certain reasons, go find out. Black pepper is great for digestion. Black pepper has a fortifying effect on the stomach. Do you remember how, who did that? Greeks used it to fortify the stomachs. It helps with increase the flow of saliva. It expels wind, which is a very kind way of saying that it's great for farting and um, it subdues nausea, 
and it is helpful for constipation. It is useful for bowel problems because it gives general tone to the colon muscles and it enhances our absorption of food. Now remember that one, we're gonna be talking about enhancing the absorption of food a little bit later when we talk about emotions. Black pepper is warming and aids in circulation. It's great to put in massage oils for achy muscles, achy joints, just general discomfort, general pain. You can use it before you work out or before you play sports to help warm up your muscles, or you can use it after you work out or after you play sports so that you don't have that discomfort that you sometimes feel after like a hard workout. Because black pepper is so warming and because it aids in circulation, it's great to put on places where you're trying to get more circulation too. If you've, if you've hurt somewhere, you wanna get as much circulation as you can to that area to help it heal. The more circulation you have to an area, the better um, your body can help itself heal. So it's great for sprains. You can definitely put it on a, in a mis carrier oil and massage it in now. Oh, let me tell you, how do you use it if you're putting it on? Now, black pepper is a very warming oil, so I'm not gonna take the, the black pepper bottle and just put the oil straight on. Like, no, it'd be too warming for that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like two to three drops of black pepper essential oil into about two tablespoons of coconut oil, um, olive oil, whatever your favorite carrier oil is, and then use that to massage on to um, the area of discomfort. Black pepper can help main, can help boost the immune system for that. You can diffuse it, or you can put it in a carrier oil and put that on the bottoms of your feet. It can help us maintain stamina and energy because it helps to increase our cellular ox oxygen levels. I love this. I usually don't do studies, I usually say, this is my favorite place for studies. Go find out for yourself. But I'm going to give you two studies, I think, in this in this shout out on black pepper. And here is the first one. So a 2006 study conducted by, and I'm going to spell the name for you, E-B-I-H-A-R-A, -A -A, Ibihara, in 2006 found that inhaling black pepper increased cerebral blood flow and improved the swallowing reflex in elderly patients who had suffered from a stroke. Okay, now that's going to be a study that I'm just going to file into my memory so that if I ever have friends or family members who have had a stroke, I know, and they're having problems with, with swallowing, I'm gonna know what to do. I love, I love studies. So as we're talking about studies, let me tell you my two favorite places for studies on essential oils. One is PubMed. They have dozens, if not hundreds, um, of studies there on essential oils. Just PubMed, type in your oil, see what it's good for. That have, but So that's my second favorite place to go. My first favorite place to go to to find studies on essential oils is aromaticscience.com. Now this is why, because you can you can type in, you know, you can put in whatever essential oil that you have, like maybe you have lavender or black pepper or, you know, cinnamon, whatever. You type in the oil and it will tell you all of the studies from around the world that they have in their database on um, that people have studied on and all the results on that oil. Or you can say, Okay, I want something for my circulation, my circulatory system. You can look it up by system. You can say, I want something for my respiratory system. Show me studies on respiratory systems and essential oils that are great for that. And then it will bring up all the studies that are great for your respiratory system. Or you can search it by ailment. So say I'm working on fertility. Say I'm working, say I have a headache. Say I'm working on either high or low blood pressure. I can type that ailment into the search bar and then I can see all the essential oils and all the studies that have been studied 
with that ailment and how and the results. So I'm um, three ways to search on aromatic.com by body system, by essential oil, or by ailment. That's why it's my favorite, favorite, favorite source. Again, it's aromaticscience.com. Okay, back to the bene the physical benefits of black pepper essential oil. It has a beneficial effect on respiratory issues. For that, you're going to want to um, put it in some a carrier oil, rub that on your chest, rub that on your back, or diffuse it. It's helpful to help balance cholesterol. It also helps to balance blood pressure. It's beautiful to use in cooking, and we all, I mean, do we not put pepper in so many of our recipes, right? So for that, you can either dip a, a toothpick in and use that toothpick to swirl it around in your soup, your sauce, your recipe, whatever you're using, or you can put a whole um, drop into your recipe. If you're, if you're using a whole drop, I always recommend that if you're putting essential oils into your recipe, that you put a drop on your um, spoon first right? Just to make sure you only get one drop. If you get two drops, go ahead. Just put that, whatever it is, into your diffuser. It's going to smell super good. Um, well, I guess some essential oils are known for how beautiful they smell, and some essential oils are known for other things. So, um, but yes, you can definitely use it in your cooking. Now, I just told you, you could ingest black pepper essential oil. So, let me give you my disclaimer on that, and that is that doTERRA is the only essential oil brand that I would ever recommend ingesting. The only rec um, essential oil brand, blend, the only essential oil brand that I would ever recommend using internally. And here is why: they don't just third-party test every thousandth batch or every hundredth batch. No, they pay to have every single batch of their essential oils third-party tested. They also do their own internal testing on that. And then they put the batch number on the bottom of your bottle of every bottle of oils. You can go to a site called Source to You, type in your batch number, and you can see every single test that's ever been done on your bottle, on your on your batch of essential oils. I love that. I can see the tests and the results. Of course, those are the most important, right? But I can see all the tests that have been done. I can see all of the results. What other company in the world is that transparent? What other company in the world is that is that dedicated to pursuing what is pure? That's why I, for me and my family, we only choose to use doTERRA essential oils internally. And you know what? I'm not going to use anything else either topically or or um aromatically, I want to make sure that what I'm putting into my home, my environment, is the best, more pure oils on the planet. Okay, so, um, black pepper. Now, here is the second study that I'm going to tell you about. There was a study done in 1994 by a person named Rose, R-O-S-E, that found that um, the inhaled vapor of black pepper essential oil was found to reduce cravings for cigarettes and reduce anxious feelings in smokers who were deprived of smoking compared to a control. So, if I was a smoker, which I'm not, but if I was, um, it happens to be against my religion, plus, I mean, it's just super unhealthy. But, if I was a smoker and I was trying to quit, right? Like, maybe I took it up when I was like 12 or nine or who even knows, right? People get into addictions very, very young in life, typically. Anyway, if I was trying to smoke, this is what I would do. Um, I would make some quit sticks. I will put the recipe into the into the comments for you. Basically, you, you pair black pepper with either cinnamon or you pair black pepper with clove and um, some coconut oil and you... Um, Put, you mix it all around in a glass jar, and then you put some toothpicks in it, fill the jar with toothpicks, so they're standing up, and so that the oil's on the bottom of the jar, you put the toothpicks in, and then the toothpicks, the wood from the toothpicks, soaks up that beautiful oil, and then you can just use those to pop in your mouth, get a little bit of a flavor going on, 
but it also helps you emotionally and physically to um, help stop smoking addi um, addictions or even other addictions. So, you know, try quit sticks. If I was, if I was doing it for, and um, if I was going to make a quick quit stick because I tend to um, like have sugar cravings and I would tend to binge, I would definitely use a different oil. I would probably use doTERRA's um, Slim and Sassy oil for that one. But so you can make quit sticks. Maybe you have, maybe you have um, anger issues. You seem to be addicted to anger and frustration. Then I would make quit sticks with, um, hmm, anger, anger, lemon essential oil because it's so cleansing to the liver. Anyway, so you can, maybe that's what we should journal about. What, if I was addicted to something, what would I be addicted to? And is that a good addiction or is it a bad addiction? And if it's a bad addiction, how am I going to stop? And hey, go to aromaticscience.com and and say what what quit sticks can I do or what diffuser blend should I be diffusing or what essential oil should I be putting on that can help that can help I think that there's whatever um, the issue that we have essential oils are powerful tools that we can put in our pocket to help okay so um going on to the emotional aspects of black pepper essential oil so I'm going to read you some things and I'm going to read you something else afterward. And um, that's something else I, I'm going to read to you. I usually don't read to you. So I know that's very, very cryptic and that anyway, hold on. I'll be telling you the, the prop, the emotional benefits of black pepper might be a little bit long. Um, it's not too long, but so maybe go, you know, wash your, wash your dishes, clean your kitchen, do something. I love to do things while I'm watching shout out. So, Go do something fun. Maybe exercise while you're while you're listening. Black pepper. It helps us find our true authenticity. It helps us act from our authentic nature. It helps us get rid of that need to hide. Okay. It can help us um, eliminate the virus of negative thinking. It can help pull up suppressed emotions so they can be dealt with honestly. It can help us let go of the old, no matter how good it was, and move on to the new. Now, if something was old and good, great, and you want to keep it, keep it. But if there's something that was old and good that you can't keep anymore, appreciate. Be thankful that you had it in your life and then start appreciating the new good things that are going on right now. It can help us, it can help with those who tend to bottle up their emotions, to work through their emotions, not be afraid of their emotions, and to release their emotions. Black pepper, as we kind of talked about before, is great at helping to incorporate in um, when trying to end addictions, whether that's smoking or anything else. Black pepper is super good. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Black pepper is super good to rub on your big toe, your, yeah, your big toe, be, when you're trying to get rid of addictions. For that, yes, you could just use it straight because your feet can, I mean, it's not gonna be too hot to use on your feet, but I would still recommend putting it in a carrier oil. Black pepper strengthens the mind and helps us have stamina through frustration. We're gonna hit, we're gonna hit those frustrating times in our day. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna hit a frustrating time in my day. I have probably already hit a frustrating time in my day and I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna let anything knock me down. I love that song. Ain't nothing gonna break a my stride. Anyway, I love it. Nothing's gonna break our stride and, and black pepper can help sustain our stride through frustrating things happening in the day. Black pepper is great to diffuse when we're trying to brainstorm and come up with new ideas. It's a very protective oil. Again, it can protect us from negative energy. So let's just say, mm, maybe you've had a fight in your house. Maybe you've had the news on and you've been listening to something negative. Maybe, um, who knows? I mean, the, the examples I can give you about negativity in life 
could go on and on and on and on. And there's no reason to go there. But what I'm seeing is black pepper can help put a stop to that. Black pepper can help us keep a clear perspective, even when those around us are mired in negativity and predicting the worst possible scenarios. Now, this is something that I absolutely love about black pepper. And that is like, okay, you're in a bad mood, great. You know, be in your bad mood and, and get over your bad mood when you want to. But I don't have to be in a bad mood just because you are. I don't have to be argumentative just because you are. I don't have to be sad or down or frightened or anxious just because you are. I can honor you and let you have your emotions and I can honor me and hold to the emotions that I have too. Black pepper can help us be more realistic in our, in our expectations with others and with ourselves. Don't you love that? Being more realistic? I love that. It can help us be more empathetic to others, people's struggles. connect. So um, whether that's connecting emotionally, whether that's connecting physically, um, black pepper, you know, aphrodisiac, yes, or warming up friendships, yes, warming up hearts, yes. Okay, diffusing black pepper. So um, black pepper and lime is great um, to diffuse. It combines very well with bergamot to help break addictions and help us have faith in who we are. You can combine it with juniper berry, myrrh, or vetiver for becoming more of your authentic self. And you can combine it with frankincense for a more grounding effect. Now, that is all that I usually read to you. What I usually don't read to you is um, the whole entire entry for... Um, from this book, which is called Essential Emotions, Your Guide to Process, Release, and Live Free. But I love what they said about black pepper, so I'm going to read to you black pepper today. Black pepper reveals the masks and the facades used to hide aspects of ourselves. Since childhood, most individuals have been taught that some feelings and behaviors are good while others are not. So instead of seeking to understand seemingly inappropriate feelings and behaviors, they usually judge, condemn, or repress them. Individuals learn early on that they have that to, I'm going to say some, some individuals learn early on that, that to be loved or accepted, they must hide undesirable aspects of themselves behind a mask or facade. Black Pepper invites individuals to get real by digging within the less understood parts of ourselves. Whether one's true motives and feelings are acknowledged or not, they continue to exist. I love that. I love that, love that, love that. Whether or not we're looking at our true motives or our true thoughts, they continue to exist. The more these feelings are pushed down, buried, and repressed, the more they seem to seek to make themselves known. If they are not and honestly dealt with and acknowledged, they can often be expressed through erratic, compulsive, and addictive behaviors. Black pepper also reignites the soul, refueling motivation, and high energy, and it gives individuals strength to overcome the challenges and issues they carry inside and invites them to live with integrity with their true self. So, I 
love that. That's the why it's called the oil of unmasking. That's why it's called the oil of authenticity. Because it can help us see who we really are. And keep the parts that we like and change the parts that we don't. It can help us see situations as they really are. And, and not avoid them. Not be like the ostrich that puts our head in the sand just hoping that everything um, works out somehow magically by itself. No, black pepper can help us realize um, that we have the power, we have the strength to deal with hard emotions and to deal with hard situations. And as we look at hard emotions and we look at hard situations, we can help. Okay, I, yeah, love, love, love black pepper. Okay, so the negative emotions that it can help with is emotional dishonesty, repressed emotions, feeling trapped, feeling prideful, or being superficial, just not letting anyone see the real you. And then the positive properties that black pepper can help with is emotional honesty, authenticity, courage, feeling motivated, being more self-aware, and acting with more integrity. So do I love black pepper? Absolutely, absolutely loving black pepper. Okay, so just reminding you, those are the emotional and physical benefits of black pepper. Just reminding you the diffuser blend that we're diffusing the whole entire week. Two drops ginger, oil of empowerment, two drops of bergamot, the oil of self-love, self-acceptance, and two drops black pepper, the oil of authenticity and unmasking. And now we understand why, right? Okay, so the song for the entire week is Paca Bell's Canon and D, one of my favorite songs. Today we're going to be listening to George Winston. You can find the link in the comments. And the, the affirmation for the entire week, I am peaceful with new good things happening. Good things are happening. Let's appreciate them, let's celebrate them, and let's be peaceful with them. And the affirmation for the entire week is, everything I think is positive, and I expect miracles often. I believe God's a God of miracles. I believe that every one of us on this earth are spirit children of an all-powerful God all loving God and so he will work mighty miracles in our lives as we turn from him turn woohoo not that not as we turn to him as we turn to God he will perform mighty miracles in our lives okay this is Susanna Williams with essential oils health matters and living the wholesome life reminding us all that we have this incredible power within us with God to make every day a great day. Bye-bye.